Hello and most welcome to 1227 of the series and I will continue with a summation and pointers to understanding Roberto Magueira Unger and Lee Moritz a single universe and I've been talking the last thing I was mentioning was the Einsteinian vision and I'm now going slowly into the quantum cosmology and how that affects the idea of time. Uh, it's going to be repetitious but I don't think there is no harm here. Quantum mechanics describes a system by its quantum state, the temporal evolution of which is governed by the Schrodinger equation. The quantum state gives us only probabilities which contain the information an observer can possibly obtain by preparing and measuring a system. Like in Newtonian, also in quantum physics, clocks and measuring instruments must be outside the system. I'm going to put in a parenthesis. I often mention this very important thing to understand that all quantum experiments are halfway classical otherwise they wouldn't yield a result so this is halfway in between the two worlds so to speak although it's not a very good metaphor forget that Can we apply quantum theory to the whole of universe? Well, look at that. Quantum cosmology and the end of time, too. In quantum theory, the change in time is connected with energy. and energy is proportional to frequency. E equals HV. Because there is no clock outside the universe, its quantum state cannot change in time. So its frequency of oscillation must be zero and thus the energy of the universe must be zero. Then the quantum state of the universe is frozen. It simply is There is a negative amount of energy in any system held together by gravity. The universe can have zero total energy if the total gravitational potential energy holding its parts together exactly Kansas all the positive energy in the universe expressed in masses and motions of all its matter. The wheeler de Witt equation so often mentioned 
is an attempt to meld the ideas of quantum mechanics and general relativity, a step toward a theory of quantum gravity. Here, C is a functional of field configurations on space-time and Hx is the Hamiltonian. Interlude Einstein's discontent. The Viennese philosopher R. Carnap. reported a conversation with Einstein on time, who once said that the problem of the now worried him seriously and explained that the now means something special for a man, something essentially different from the past and the future. But that this important difference does not occur in physics. Einstein's discontent comes down to a simple insight. Science should include our experience of the world as a flow of movement, movements. Previous arguments in the expulsion of time from the physicist's conception of nature, the freezing motion by graphing records of past observations, the invention of timeless configuration space. Predicting the future from initial conditions and universal laws. determinism and time reversibility. The relativity of simultaneity, simultaneity. the block universe picture of space-time.
the beginning of time in the Big Bang. quantum cosmology and the end. Quantum cosmology and the end of time. Now we come to the juicy detail, the cosmological fallacy. It remains a great temptation to take a law or principle we can successfully apply to all the world's subsystems and apply it to the universe as a whole. To do so is to commit, commit a fallacy, which Smolin calls the cosmological fallacy. Applying the Newtonian paradigm to the universe as a whole is an impossible task. No theory based on the Newtonian paradigm can answer these questions. Why is the universe governed by a particular set of laws? Why does the universe start off with a particular set of initial conditions? What mechanism selected them out of the infinite set of possibilities within the Newtonian paradigm these questions will remain mysterious mysteries forever and here we have an appella We need a new theory in which the reality of time is a central element. The cosmological challenge The great theories of the 20th century physics Relativity, Quantum Theory and the Standard Model 
represent the highest achievements of physical science and are confirmed to amazing accuracy. However, they cannot be considered as fundamental since each divides the world into the box and the rest of the universe. which is implicitly there by giving us rulers and clocks to measure space and time in the isolated system. <clears throat> Experimental physics is the study of truncations of nature, always, always, no exception there. Theoretical physics designs effective theories considering a box subset of degrees of freedom and ignoring the rest. But there is no such thing that is isolated from the influence by the rest of the universe. This is the principle of no isolated systems. Decoherence or decorrelation produces the transition from a quantum to a classical system through multiple interaction. The cosmological challenge is to formulate a background independent theory that can be applied to the whole of the universe, which is not part of a vastly larger system. Principles for a new cosmology
the new theory must contain what we already know about nature be scientific i.e. imply specific testable predictions answer the why these laws question and explain the fundamental parameters and constants answer the why these initial conditions question one no chains of explanation can point outside the universe principle of explanatory closure for which you rule out fixed background structures two All influences or forces should be mutual. Principle of no unreciprocated action. Saying that every entity in the universe interacts with everything else. Relationalism. Three, two things that have the same relationship with everything else in the universe must be actually the same thing. This is the principle of identity of indiscernible from Leibniz. There can be no fundamental symmetries in nature. as they arise from treating a subsystem of the universe as if it were the only thing that existed. Symmetries are approximate and so are the laws of energy, momentum and angular momentum conservation. All of these are approximate. The laws of nature are results of evolution. The laws of nature are results of evolution.
which implies that time is real. Eleven, the evolution of laws. The new cosmological theory. Should explain the choices of laws and initial conditions and be testable by doable experiments and even vulnerable to falsification. This is from Popper. The theory in which laws evolve is called cosmological natural selection. And based on the theory of population biology. This requires a space of parameters that vary among a population. Genes in biology, parameters and constants in physics. A mechanism of reproduction. Quantum gravity does away with the singularities where time begins and ends. Black holes lead to the birth of new and universes. Variation. Each time a new universe is created there is a small random mutation in the parameters of the laws. Difference in fitness which is a measure of how many black holes a universe creates. Typicality, assuming that our universe is a typical member of the population of universes. Laws will change in time as the population evolves.
the resulting parameter variations can lead to carbon dioxide to different carbon and oxygen abundances, different critical masses of neutron stars, and different numbers of black holes, or affect the rate of star formation. Twelve, quantum mechanics and the liberation of the atom. Taking time as a fundamental and real may help resolve the puzzle of making sense of quantum theory. which is the most successful theory yet invented, but is probabilistic and seen incomplete. And it is a challenge to our attempts to comprehend the world. First, it's incompatibility. It has non-commuting variables such as position and momentum. Entanglement. Compound systems are more than the parts. The origin of novelty, non-locality, entangled paths of photons interact at a distance by non-local correlations. Smolin believes that the strange feature of quantum theory arises because it is a truncation of an unknown cosmological theory. And the reality of time makes a new formulation possible. The principle of precedence sees the laws of nature as habits developed over time. C.S. Peirce. The free will theorem says, suppose there is in a sense in which two experimenters are free to choose which measurement they make on their atoms. Then the response of the atoms to the measurement is free in the same sense. Quantum mechanical systems have a maximal possible freedom from classical determinism by their being probabilistic.
the battle between relativity and the quantum. The principle of sufficient reason is central to the program of extending physics to the scale of the universe as a whole. Because it sets a goal of discovering a rational reason for every choice that nature makes, the apparently free and uncaused behavior of individual quantum systems presents a formidable challenge to that principle. In quantum mechanics, a special status is assigned to time in the sense that it is treated as a classical background parameter. External to the system itself. All measurements of observables are made at certain instants of time and probabilities are only assigned to such measurements. Special relativity has modified the notion of time. But, and this is important, do not forget, but from a fixed Lorentz observer's viewpoint, time remains a distinguished external global parameter. There is a successful marriage of special relativity with quantum theory called quantum field theory. It is the basis of the standard model of particle physics and makes a great many precise predictions which have been upheld by the results of many experiments thereby Higgs boson. Time reborn from relativity At each point in space, there will be one special observer who sees the galaxies moving away from him in all directions, called the Hubble flow. Another way of to fix a preferred family of observers is the CMB, 
which is coming at them at the same temperature from all directions in the sky. The relativity of motion is the symmetry principle of general relativity. Yet some solutions of theories can break their symmetries. But Einstein's theories of special relativity and general relativity rule on smaller scales experimentally confirmed in our solar system. If time is real in the sense of a real present moment, there is a boundary all observers can agree on between the real present and the not yet real future. This implies a physical notion of simultaneity that includes distant events and indeed the whole universe This time can be called a preferred global time. Its choice is determined by how matter slash energy is distributed across the universe. The expansion rate can be taken for a universal universal clock fifteen the emergence of space. Nothing is more commonplace than space. Yet, when we examine it closely, nothing is more mysterious. Space will likely turn out to be an illusion of the sort that temperature and pressure are. A useful way to organize our impression of things on a large scale. Relativity theory merged space with time, leading to the block universe picture of a four-dimensional reality. But the hypothesis of the reality of time frees time from this false unification. Thus we can develop very different ideas of space emergent and time.
loop quantum gravity LQG describes space as a dynamical network of relationships. According to LQG, regions of space can only have discrete values. That is, space is quantized and granular. Areas of surfaces are also quantized on the natural Planck scale, which is the Planck length, respectively time, Planck time. Starting with the Einstein theory of general relativity, the loop quantum gravity theory provides a way to quantize general relativity. The spin foam model gives a quantum version at the block universe picture. However, it is limited to a small region of space-time. I think I better end that one. It's getting interesting as to the 15 of the notes. I say thank you very much. It's a most interesting opening to thinking. And one can only think or imagine what this would lead, but it's a very strong rejection of a fixed frame of reference. It goes much further than anything I heard before. For instance, I never realized to this extent that the space-time of Einstein has a fixation. And this as it has a name. The Lorentz equivalator. From the Lorentz point of view, space-time is uniform and outside of the universe both in GR and SR. Amazing. Who would have thought of that? I say thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. Have a very nice afternoon. Bye bye for now.